This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing. We done gone worldwide and we coming straight out of Baltimore. Come on down, shop with us at 215 West Saratoga Street. And if you can't come and shop with us in person, go online right now at coolgreenclothing.com and make your purchase. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you ain't cool and getting the green, you're in the way, and that's just basic. I, I. It's your girl, Mrs. Tony, two times, and I'm back with another episode of The Baltimore Way. In this video, I'll be discussing a June 2023 shootout that left 46-year-old Kimberly Benjamin caught in the fatal crossfire. But before we get into this video, I'd like to say thank you to all of our supporters. We appreciate you and hope you stick around. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, you can find the information on the screen. And to support us for absolutely no cost, please hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and join the Tony Two Times family. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And of course, feel free to share this video with everyone you know. Also, if you'd like to see more episodes of The Baltimore Way, please click the link to the playlist in the description box after this video to get caught up. All right, let's get into it. Kimberly Benjamin, a beloved mother, daughter, sister, and friend. Kimberly is described as a fun, kind, loving, and family-oriented person. Her beauty radiates from the inside out. Her fashion was also daring and on point. Kimberly loved having a good time and doing whatever she can for the people around her. Kimberly is the type of person who would bring pastries into work in an effort to brighten her co-worker's day. Kimberly was someone you would want to have in your corner. At some point, Kimberly started dating a man named Jamal Piles. Jamal is a Baltimore rapper with his own record label. Kimberly and Jamal would eventually take their romance to the next step. However, things would soon take a tragic turn. On Tuesday, June 6, 2023, around 6.30 p.m., Kimberly accompanied Jamal to what was supposed to be a business meeting to discuss his music career. The couple pulled up to the 1300 block of Booth Street near Franklin Square neighborhood in central southwest Baltimore. 46-year-old Kimberly sat in the passenger seat while 35-year-old Jamal was in the driver's seat. BPD was also on patrol in the area at the time. Moments later, gunfire filled the air. BPD witnesses the shooting. They found a 21-year-old man wounded in his legs in the unit block of North Cary Street. They also found Kimberly Benjamin suffering from a wound to her head at the intersection of McHenry Street and South Cary Street. Kimberly and the 21-year-old, later identified as Jason Johnson, were both taken to the hospital. Jason was hit three times in his leg and was ultimately treated for his injuries and released. As for Kimberly, doctors did everything they could to save her life, but despite life-saving measures, hospital staff pronounced Kimberly gone on June 7th 2023. Kimberly's family and friends were devastated by the news. She was just an innocent bystander. She had nothing to do with the incident. Kimberly's loss was a major void that could never be filled. Her loved ones could only hope that she would get justice. Police had arrested a person of interest at the same intersection where Kimberly was found. That person was later identified as Kimberly's husband, Jamal Piles. After being released from the hospital, 21-year-old Jason Johnson 
was also arrested in connection with the shooting and Kimberly Slayen. Investigators were able to determine that a shootout between Jamal and Jason had taken place on the evening of June 6th, and sadly, Kimberly was caught in the fatal crossfire. Both Jamal and Jason said they were firing at each other in self-defense and pointed the finger at each other as the aggressors in the tragic incident. Jamal was initially facing 11 charges, including attempted first and second degree hit, first and second degree assault, firearm and handgun violations, and two counts of reckless endangerment. Jason Johnson, on the other hand, was charged with first degree hit, attempted first degree hit, firearm violations, and reckless endangerment. Before going to trial in February 2024, Jamal rejected a 45-year plea deal in October 2023. Jamal's trial began on February 23, 2024. Prosecutors began by telling jurors that within a span of three minutes, Jamal made choices on June 6 that landed him in the position he was in. They also said he made several moves after the incident to cover up his involvement, such as allegedly removing his clothing and throwing the weapon used during the shootout in a drain. Events before, during, and after the incident were all caught on surveillance video. Jamal's defense countered those claims by telling the jury that Jamal and Kimberly were having the perfect day up until the incident that led to his arrest. According to Jamal's defense, Kimberly accompanied him to a business meeting that was supposed to take place on the 1700 block of McHenry Street when their car was suddenly blocked in by another car. The defense went on to say that Jamal had no time to think before he and his wife were fired at four times by the other driver, and his reaction was to return fire in order to protect himself and Kimberly. Sadly, that's when Kimberly was fatally injured by a through and through wound to her head. The defense also said Jamal had no time to grieve his wife before immediately being placed in handcuffs. Jamal's trial lasted five days. During closing arguments, prosecutors maintained their position that Jamal's actions put his wife in danger, which resulted in her slaying, and then tried to cover his tracks by going 10 blocks to toss the weapon in a storm drain and then call for help. In the defense's closing arguments, they said Jamal was set up. Once he arrived at the scene to negotiate being featured on a song, a shooter started firing and that's when he took a defensive position. They claimed BPD investigated the case poorly and made assumptions in order to close the case. The defense continued to claim that Jamal was just trying to protect his wife. The prosecution rebuttals and asks the jury, why did Jamal put his wife in harm's way if he loves her? In response to the self-defense claim, they said the other shooter had his head down and Jamal fired first. The prosecutor went on to say that when police arrived, Jamal went into a store to wash his hands and grab a bottle of water rather than being with his wife, Kimberly. Later that day, the jury reached a verdict. Jamal Piles was found guilty of second degree assault and firearm and handgun charges. He was acquitted of the attempted hit charges and reckless endangerment. In June 2024, he was sentenced to two 10-year sentences to be served concurrently with the first five years without the possibility of parole. The person accused of taking Kimberly's life, Jason Johnson, 
went to trial on August 19, 2024. At Jason's trial, prosecutors described the incident as a mutual shooting that took place in the middle of the street. The incident began with a confrontation between Jason and Jamal and weapons were fired by both men. Jason's defense attorney also claimed self-defense while at the same time cast in doubt on whether he had a weapon at all. The prosecution detailed the surveillance footage which barely showed Jason running into a small alley where they say he retrieved a weapon and ran back to Jamal as their altercation began. The defense pointed out that the footage did not clearly show Jason with a weapon. The defense also pointed out that ballistics reported up to four weapons could have been involved. 13 of the casings found at the scene were traced back to the weapon Jamal used. The projectiles found in the car where Kimberly lost her life, however, did not belong to Jamal. Surveillance footage also showed Jamal had bumped Jason with his car prior to the incident, which the defense used to show that Jason was not the aggressor, but Jamal was. They also pointed out that Jason was hit three times in the leg while Jamal was uninjured. Jason's trial ended on August 23rd. The jury found 23-year-old Jason Johnson guilty of voluntary manslaughter, attempted voluntary manslaughter, firearm violations, reckless endangerment, and affray or public fighting. He is scheduled to be sentenced in November 2024. May Kimberly Benjamin continue to rest in peace. My deepest condolences to her family and friends. Kimberly was so loved and adored by many. As I said earlier, her passing has left a void in many people's lives. Kimberly was truly one of a kind. It's so sad how she lost her life. She was an innocent bystander just riding with her husband to do business as she thought, not knowing that it would have led to her losing her life. She probably trusted his judgment, trusted him not to put her in harm's way. It's just all so unfortunate and heartbreaking. Before her husband Jamal's sentencing, Kimberly's sister and her son spoke emotionally. They blamed Jamal for putting her in a situation that ended her life. Her son said Jamal was a coward and was only concerned for himself during the incident, not Kimberly's safety. So terribly sad. Fam, tell me your thoughts on this tragic story in the comments below. Again, may Kimberly rest in peace. All right, fam, that's it for this episode of The Baltimore Way. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, Mrs. Tony, two times. Until next time.